Despite appearing to have the world at his feet the levels hit maker constantly battled both personal and professional problems. From having both his appendix and his gallbladder out in a single year to his crippling anxiety. Behind the scenes of Key's life was anything but rosy. Speaking during his documentary True Stories, one pal said, he turned into a shell of the guy he used to be. The guy I used to know wasn't really there anymore. Revealing how they fought to keep him on the straight and narrow over the summer of 2015, one team member explained, we shut off Tim's email we shut off his phone. That was a really good time for him. It was a very very nice period. After taking a break of each he headed to Malibu with his team including his personal trainer. You could tell that he had been working on himself a lot, the PT explained. He was a lot different. He was determined to change his life. Later on in the doc Avicii can be seen on the verge of crying as he battled to cancel his pre-booked concerts. I don't see the positive of doing one more show, he explained in his swanky hotel suite. No matter how hard I try. The repercussions if I don't do it. Dot I don't see them as negative. I would lose money and my reputation would suffer. Those are downsides, but I don't care. He eventually won the battle, and all ten of his planned Las Vegas concerts were canned. However, stressed concert bookers still bombarded him with calls begging to get him back on stage. Even before his final show in Ibiza, Avicii was a nervous wreck. The superstar repeatedly complained about building anxiety, even suggesting he arrived at the venue late to allow him to play a shorter set. In a heartbreaking statement, after his death, Avicii's family said he wasn't cut out for the music business. The statement read, he really struggled with thoughts about meaning, life, happiness. He could not go on any longer. He wanted to find peace. Tim was not made for the business machine he found himself in. He was a sensitive guy who loved his fans but shunned the spotlight.